Chapter 5 The Shrine Maidens Battle Genshin descends upon Hayabusa Village once again, his Black Spider Clan crushing its brave young ninja. Faced with the devastation of her village, Momiji, the, drag the Dragon Shrine Maiden, resolves to free a young boy the enemy has taken prisoner. High above the unearthly glow of Sky City, Tokyo, the Shrine Maiden confronts a horde of evil ninja alone. Our ninja here. No doubt the dragon ninja will take this bait. Sanji. Dragon Shrine Maidens battle finally begins. So, hey everybody, it's Double RPG here, and welcome back to another episode of Double RPG Let's Play with Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 on the PlayStation 3. In today's episode, we're going to resume where we left off, and we are going to go through Chapter 5, which is the first time where we're actually playing one of the exclusive female characters that we can have control over in this game. And we're going to get through it all entirely, this chapter. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get on with this episode that's already in progress, shall we? And as you can tell, this is Momiji who debuted in Ninja Gaiden Dragon Sword for the DS, and she has become, I guess you could say, a pretty well-known character in the Ninja Gaiden series, it seems like. Well, in the reboot series, that is. But probably not as famous as, like, Irene Liu or any of those others that were in the other Ninja Gaiden games, but, but still very popular to this day, I guess, in terms of the DOA's uh, world. Well, in the world of Dead or Alive, but she's not from Dead or Alive in any way whatsoever. And we can actually do we can actually do a double jump with Momiji, and she is the first character in a Ninja Gaiden game that I believe can do the double jump. I don't think any of the other characters can do double jumps, and you know that was one of the things I was kind of wishing Ryu Hayabusa could do is do a double jump for crying out loud. <laughs> But evidently that's not the case in this Ninja Gaiden game now, is it? Or any of the ones in general. Dang it. But uh, but she's not the first uh, playable character in terms of a Ninja Gaiden game. In terms of the females, where uh, Rachel from Ninja Gaiden Sigma was controllable. So this is the second one that we actually take control over. But of course she was briefly playable in the beginning portions of Ninja Gaiden Dragon Sword. So... At least it's good to see that we can actually control her again. And, you know, when you're playing games like this, it makes you wonder if you're actually playing something that's similar to Dynasty Warriors, or Samurai Warriors, to be exact. And, you know, and I think that was actually pretty cool that they actually managed to put in, uh, you know, DOA characters in the, the Samurai Warrior setting, or maybe even, like, something like Warriors Orochi. But, evidently... Ninja Gaiden and Samurai Warriors are their own franchises, so this is actually the more superior. 
So, uh, how's everybody doing? Hope you all are enjoying your lovely Friday, and I can't wait for next week because that is exactly when Kid Icarus Uprising releases, and I'm going to be picking that up for sure. And I think it's about time for me to get another 3DS game in my library. That's the first of the Nintendo, I think, and then the next one will definitely be Mario Tennis Open, and whichever one comes next, I'm hoping it's Luigi's Mansion 2, that will be the next one. But it's kind of hard to say what it is going to be at this point. But yeah, I'm getting heavily excited for more Nintendo stuff, and then after that, <laughs> that's when I'm going to be getting Xenoblade Chronicles. And as I said, I want to try and do a Let's Play of that series, but I want to beat it entirely first, so before I get to it. And I heard it's a pretty big game, and which I've always been talking about, and it definitely seems so for being a big open-world RPG. There, I gotcha. So, enough talking about Nintendo stuff, it's time to talk about Ninja Gaiden. And Ninja Gaiden 3 should be coming out this, this Tuesday for the US, and I think this Friday for European audience, if I'm not mistaken? Or I could... I'm not sure. Okay, now we can't even leave here yet because there's actually something that's going to pop up. Yes, one of the bosses in this chapter is actually going to give us a rude awakening of sorts. But he's just small for- Oh, no, 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 I wouldn't even say it that much because he's actually- he actually did that technique on us. And you can't actually bring them up in the air to try and attack them or anything. So that kind of sucks. So your only choice in trying to attack these type of bosses is on the ground. But you can't even do- but like I said, you can't even do air attacks, so that kind of sucks. But we managed to get him to retreat, so it's time for us to move on further. Oh, wait a minute. Let's get this over here. What do we get? Okay, we get an herb of spiritual life. I'll take that. And this is actually... I'm actually doing... the. In this episode, I think there's something that I want to mention, too, is that... I previously recorded this episode in another, you know, in another recording, but the thing is, is that the video footage kind of glitched, so uh, I wasn't able to get this episode up for, I, you know, for you all to enjoy, because I wanted, well, I couldn't even uh, continue on recording more footage until I get this episode completed, because that was just something that kind of unexpected. I mean, that's one of the, uh, that's one of the flaws with Hope Hog, is that it doesn't, uh, it doesn't record things fully or 100% completely because sometimes it might glitch up. And that really sucks. Because I want everything to make sure that they are fully recorded when I get them recorded. You know what I mean? But evidently that didn't happen for this. And, and but w when you have something that is like a, I mean, when you have a, a, an HD recorder like this, with the Hopog HD PVR, it records everything digitally and it doesn't record everything analog, where with analog, you actually record everything at 100%, at 100 so yeah, it really sucks. But hopefully we got all the kinks filled out and I am going to just continue to impress you all with ninja attacks that Momiji is doing on, her, on the Black Spider Ninja. And this is not her first time fighting against Black Spider Min Ninja, mind you where she actually did have that problem in Ninja Gaiden Dragon Sword before she got captured by the clan. Yeah, I think I forgot to mention that part, too. If any of you played Ninja Gaiden Dragon Sword, it's actually a really good DS game, and I suggest that you all pick it up. It's really that fun. Okay, that was something I did not even take into account for, was coming over to this treasure chest on my first recording and knowing that there's a grains of uh, spiritual life. So, good thing I came back for that. And this chapter is really not that long to begin with. I mean, we're going back, we're traveling backwards from where we came when we came here as Ryu Hayabusa in the first chapter. But, uh, yeah, it's really not that big. I mean, we're just trying to go save that kid whose name is Sanji, who is a member of the Hayabusa village, but he's not a true dragon ninja whatsoever because he easily got kidnapped by Tengu. I think that's the boss's name. Or it could have a different name, but I'm not entirely certain. Here, take that. A little, uh, little, uh, going away. Evidently, that's, uh... Evidently, that's not really working the, uh, aerial ultimate technique. Oh, wait a minute, it actually does. What was, what was I talking about? It actually does. That's actually pretty cool. 
but you have to get essence up in the up in the air to make it work so that's kind of the thing that sucks about using the aerial ultimate guidance is that you have to get get essence to do the job or else you're pretty much gonna fail the technique oh you did not do that you jerk here why don't you take an obliteration technique before i just have to say goodbye i hope that's the last but yes it is the door opened but before we go that way let's go ahead and check this way maybe there's something that will help us before we have to go fight against the Tengu bosses. At least I think that's what their names are. Because they do look like Tengu. And they don't even look like Ninja. There's an opening right over there, but I don't think we can get access to that. No, we cannot. So, anyway, it's time to, for us to go down that pathway and we will make it to that shrine where Sanji is being held prisoner. Oh, I used a bow. I probably shouldn't have used that bow, but, uh, oh well. But at least I can get maximum spiritual life on both the herb and the grain, so we're definitely going to need those before this battle comes. Yep, and now we get an introduction on how to use the aerial ultimate technique, so. But, like I said, you're pretty much going to have to use it once as you have essence that's around after you kill an enemy. Gosh! Here, die, and then I'll use that technique. Here, there we go. Gosh, you guys are small fry. You can't even kill me when I'm using that technique. Here. Haha! <laughs> you couldn't even lay a finger on me. Gosh, you guys suck. And Momiji is actually not that bad of a character. I think she's she's probably the most balanced of the of the three female characters you play as in this game. I think she's the balanced one, where as Rachel is the powerful one and Ayane is the quick one. But of course, with Ninja, they're all quick, so you have to take that into account. Hey, get off me! God, you guys suck. How did you guys get in the roll call of being called as main enemies in this game, huh? Here, take that. That's my final gift for you before I go to the shrine, so, yeah. Anyway... It's time for us to go this way, and let's go ahead and save our progress here. And then, we are going to go to the shrine, finally, and it's time for us to save that kid. And we got a little bit of a rude awakening with some dr with some black spider ninjas. Here, why don't we just use this, and we'll give you a, a rude ending, or a good ending, for your starry carcass. Here. Seems like I cannot even gain the... Or, I can not execute the strongest of the ultimate techniques, but that's okay. Because you guys are almost done. Or, we're almost done taking care of you guys right before we have to fight off against the Tengu bosses. But, we have a couple of... Or, we have some ninja mages to take care of, and I think they're a bit more of a nuisance than the regular Black Spider ninjas. Oh... Hey, get off me! Get off me! Don't gang up on me like that. How dare you? Here, take care of you. And one of them tried to use magic on me. It seems like it's your, it's your best opportunity to take care of these guys, is making sure that you use that technique at its full potential right before you have to kill them off. Here, why don't I do this? Finish you guys off. But that's not going to be the end of it, now is it? No, it is not, because of these guys! Now you know how I feel when I'm trying to take you all down, or when you're trying to pummel me. There. Take care of the black one first, because that is the most deadly- Hey, get, 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 get off me! There. Why don't I just finish you off with this, and... Hey! You don't do that! There. There! Take that. Ninja, but we've caught a shrine maiden instead. Give Sanji back to me. You are a fool to have come alone. Your recklessness will cost you. Careful. Don't underestimate her. 
This may not be the prey we intended to catch. But I'm always game for a good fight. You better be up for your word, because I'm definitely going to be taking care of you guys for what you did to that kid. And I remember fighting against these guys one time that I really didn't have to use any healing items whatsoever, or I didn't even take any damage for that matter. And that was quite a rare feat for me to take down a boss without even taking any damage. I mean, is there any boss in a Ninja Gaiden game where you didn't have to, where you didn't not receive any damage? Yeah, it's kind of rare. Because the enemy AI in the Ninja Gaiden games are just so ridiculously OP that, you know, it just makes you wonder, you know, are they really that necessary to try and kill without taking any damage? Okay, we've taken care of the first one, who is so arrogant. And now it's time to take care of the other one that wants to cause us more trouble. And it's evidently going to guard against our attacks. Hey, you don't do that. Like I said, these guys' AI is so ridiculously cheap. Dude. Die. Too bad we can't even do that finishing technique to where we finish off bosses with that whatever ability that Ryu uses. It's not the obliteration technique. It's a type of obliteration technique, but but not the one that we come to know. I mean, it's like the equivalent of a moral combat move, what, what we do to the bosses. But welcome to die. There, and I didn't even have to use any healing items, which is pretty cool. Sanji. Sanji. <clears throat> Homichi? Is that you? Sanji. Oh, you're all right. Mobiji. The village. I, I couldn't... It's okay. Everyone is worried about you. Let's go home. Until the day you become a true ninja, I will always watch over you. Promise. <laughs> 